When it comes to remaking your own film like this, are you, any changes made, are those made for different markets or basically things that you maybe wanted to change from your original script? No, I, I was uh, pretty happy with the original film and you normally, you know, once you make a film, you put it away. I don't look at it again. It's, uh, I move on, you know. The, the fun is in the making in, in a way. Um, so no, there wasn't anything in particular that I really wanted to, you know, revisit. Uh, but obviously it was changed because it's in a di set in a different culture, it's um, uh, different circumstances. Uh, so that's what informed most of the changes. When it comes to remaking a movie like this, do you find it helpful or a hindrance to go back to the original at all? Um, no, I saw the original. Uh, it was screened for me by Michael Schamberg, our wonderful producer. Um, and I, I adore Stellan Skarsgård and Bruno Gantz. Two heavyweight actors, and I'm watching this thing, and I want to laugh, and I'm feeling embarrassed. But I think, oh, I want to laugh again, you know. So I met Michael afterwards, and I said, Michael, I, I want to laugh a lot. He said, That's good. That's good. That's what we want. So we're going to do an American version. Would you play the Stalin part? I said, I'd love to. Would you find it helpful or a hindrance to kind of go back to the original at all? Uh, I've made a few remakes. Um, and uh, I've been tempted to, but actually, then that, that only lasts for a couple of seconds, and then because I think either you either you copy or you would actively not copy. Mm -hmm. But either way, you're letting that inform you, which it shouldn't do, because effectively it should be your interpretation of of um, of, of what you read. And, and really, yeah, for this, I mean, I just read it and sort of fell in love with it. But I think if I'd have seen the movie and then read the script, it might have a slightly sort of unmagicifying if that's a word, it's not a word, but um, <laughs> you know what I mean, um, effect on it. So no, I didn't, and, I, and, I, and I'm glad I didn't think. Now, obviously when White Bull joins into our part of the film, we know his motivations, but in certain ways, him and his group are, are very kind of light-hearted in a sense. Were you at all interested in kind of getting a back whole backstory on him for that, or just dealing with what he has to deal with in this film? Let me take it off track a little and say I think that, that First Nation people, Indian people, are very funny just generally. Mm. We don't often get to see that element. We see other things. We, we don't hear good stories or funny stories when we think about Indian people. It was very refreshing for me uh, not only to know that this story goes there, but also to see it played out by my brothers. I mean. I know most of the actors and to see them, you know, and their skills and do their work and to be as funny as they are. Uh, Raul is a very funny guy. And anyway, my point here is to say that, you know, a lot of people who are in strife uh, find humor in their life. Laughter is a great thing to have in your medicine pouch. Well, ever since, you know, Taken, a lot of people will think Liam Neeson, they'll think revenge, and they think they know what they're going to get. Do you like to use that toward your advantage to bring them in to say, no, I'm giving you something completely different? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's uh, this, I'm looking at this poster here, which looks, oh yeah, that's a definite revenge movie, you know. But uh, we do want to push the, the big, heavy-duty thread of humor that goes through the whole thing, you know, uh, and the ridiculousness of seeking revenge because it mm. just doesn't lead you anywhere other than to uh, just trouble. <laughs>